Let's begin this tutorial with an overview of the integumentary system. As we've mentioned, the integumentary system includes the hair, the skin, and fingernails as well as toenails. The integument forms a protective barrier around the internal organs and the cavities of the body. The skin is the largest organ and the major portion of the integumentary system, and it accounts for 15% of body weight and can be as much as 2 square meters in size. The integument is considered an organ because it's made up of several different tissue types. The integumentary system includes not only epithelial tissue, but also connective tissue, sensory nerves, blood vessels, and muscle tissue. What are the functions of the integumentary system? The functions include, number one, a provision of a protective barrier for the human body. Number two, playing a key role in body temperature regulation through the evaporation of sweat from the surface of the skin. Number three, protecting the body from invading microorganisms. Number four, touch, pain, and heat sensation. Number five is the production of vitamin D. And number six, the storage of fat, glucose, and vitamin D. The development of the integument. From the inner cell mass of a blastocyst, approximately day 14, each of the three germ cell layers are produced, the ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. The ectoderm gives rise to the nervous tissue and epithelial tissue. The mesoderm gives rise to the connective tissue, muscle tissue, and epithelial tissue. And the endoderm gives rise to the epithelial tissue along with the ectoderm. The integument develops from the two of three primary germ cell layers, the ectoderm and the mesoderm. The ectoderm produces the epidermis and the integumentary derivatives, the hair, nails, sweat glands, and sebaceous glands. The mesoderm produces the dermis.